Well, Rosie O'Donnell's disgusting. I mean, both inside and out. You take a look at her, she's a slob. She talks like a, a, like a truck driver. <laughs> Talkman Radio Fantasy Football Podcast. <laughs> it's hysterical. Hello, everyone. Welcome to week six, the pregame. We're going to get into the games, and maybe we can do better than last week, okay? Let's see what we got. All right, the first game of the week is Miami and Atlanta. I like Atlanta because they're at home. And the player I like this week, if you're going to start him, I know he's not the starter, but he plays well enough and gets enough touches that I think he's going to get 80 yards and a touchdown this week. It's Tevin Coleman. I know Miami doesn't let up a lot of yards on the ground or through the air (laughs) or points. But I think going into Atlanta, they had the week off. I think he's going to get some dump-offs, and he'll build up his yardage. I don't think he's going to get maybe 40 yards on the ground, but he'll get the other 40 through the air, and I think he gets a touchdown uh, off of the dump-offs. So I'm going to go with Atlanta and Tevin Coleman for the first game. Game two, we have Chicago at Baltimore. I like Baltimore in this game mostly because they're at home. Also mostly because they have a rookie quarterback. Also mostly because of that defense. Also mostly because uh, I liked Chicago at the beginning of the year and I don't like him anymore. So that's how, that's what I think of that game as a whole. On the fantasy football front, I like the Ravens' defense. Starting if you got them, I got them and I'm starting them because I don't have any other defenses. But I do like the matchup. Uh, you got... You got a rookie quarterback going to his second start. His 15th start overall, I think. Uh, I, I don't like where this is going. So I think the Ravens defense gets a touchdown, and I like Baltimore to win the game at home. Next game on the docket, we have Cleveland at Houston. Uh, I'm taking Houston, obviously. But you got you can't sleep on the... O for teams because they get more antsy. They want to get that win. So they I think they I think this game's gonna be close, closer than a lot of people think. I know Houston's put up what they've averaged 40 33, 57, and 34 is the 124 divided by three is 41 points a game over the last three games. So eh, that's a lot of points. But I think this game, you know, like 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 a 27, 20, uh, 27 or 28 to 24 game, something like that. Maybe a 35 to 30 game because Houston's lost some guys on defense. Not that I think Hulk Hogan or whoever the hell's quarterback in Cleveland this week is any good. He could be. He looked eh, okay last week in, in, in garbage time coming in the second half. But I don't like it overall for Cleveland. I think... Having Deshaun Watson back there, I mean, the kid's just going freaking crazy. He's got 12 touchdowns, and he's led them to those 41 points per game output over the last three games. So I like Houston, and obviously the the player I like is Lamar Miller because I think they're going to they're gonna go up on him, and then Cleveland's kind of going to claw back, but it's going to be too late. But I think they're going to go ahead and then start running the ball, even though Cleveland does not let up a lot of yards on the ground. 76.6 yards per game. I think they just wear him down and they like to give, you know, they like to give Miller the ball 30 times a game even though Deontay Foreman's been coming in and doing some uh some mop-up work or some, you know, committee work as they call it. I like Lamar Miller. I say he gets 100 yards and a touchdown against that tough Cleveland defense just because they're going to wear him down. So, Houston and Lamar Miller Okay, next game is Green Bay at Minnesota. It's a division game. Both of their strengths play against each other. The offense of the Packers, defense of the, the, the Vikings. I like Green Bay in this game. I like Randall Cobb as the fantasy play because they they seem to have... I mean, you have Rhodes covering Nelson or, or Adams, but you have Cobb in the slot, and I think he's going to get a lot of work, and they have trouble covering the slot. I think. So I'm going to go with Green Bay winning the game with Cobb getting a touchdown. So that's the play. Next game. I think this is going to be a good one. This is Detroit at New Orleans. I like New Orleans in this game. I think they're starting to come around. And I think they got rid of that headache 
Peterson, who I actually have on my team. Ugh. But I think they get, getting rid of him is going to open it up for Ingram. I, they said it. They said it on the news. They were like, yeah, he, he's going. Now we're going to give it to Ingram now. Even though they have Kamara back there, but I think he's more the pass catching guy. Anyway, so I like the Saints, and I think Ingram gets 80 yards in the touchdown. They're trying, I mean, they, they another team that doesn't let up a lot of rushing yards. Uh, but I think he gets 80 in a touchdown because I think, okay, now he's got this weight lifted off his shoulders with, with Peterson in the background. He's not staring at anybody anymore. So uh, I think that's the way it's going to go. That's my play. All right, another division matchup here. We have New England at the Jets. I do not like the Jets here. Uh, I like New England. And this is an easy one. Even though the Jets are only letting up 211 yards uh, through the air, I like Cooks, and it's a simple reason why I like Cooks. I'm playing against him. He's going to get 100 yards and a touchdown. That's easy. So, New England, Cooks, 100 yards and a touchdown. Boom. Here we have San Fran at Washington. I like Washington. They're going to, they're trying to keep pace with the Eagles. They're if they go three and what, what are they two and two? They're going to go three and two if they win this game. They only have two losses. The Eagles have one. They got to try and stay with them if they want to be a factor, because it looks like the Eagles are just running away with this. But anyway, uh, I like Washington. I like Perrine to get a touchdown. San Fran does not uh, defend against the run very well. They got rid of Bowman. I know they're pushing Foster, but. Uh, they let up 116 yards a game. I think uh, Perrine can get a touchdown on that, get some catches, have a good game. So that's the play. We're going to look at Washington to try and stay with the Eagles, and Perrine's going to get a touchdown. Here's a game that just I just uh, I just stay soft for this game. Uh, Bucks at Cardinals. I like the Cardinals actually in this game. I don't see these teams as being very good either of them. I know, you know, Tampa Bay at the beginning of the year, oh, they're going to do this, they're going to the Super Bowl. Okay, well, that's not going to happen. It doesn't look like it's going to happen. And like I said in the beginning of the year, Winston, I really don't think he's that good. But anyway, so I like Arizona's game. I think J.J. Nelson gets a touchdown. The Bucs have been letting up 300 yards a game through the air. All the Arizona Cardinals can do is throw the ball. Maybe they change it up a little bit with Peterson back there. I have him. I was going to cut him, but now I'm like, okay, now we got to keep him another, another couple of weeks. Just like Trent Richardson like five years ago. They traded him to the Colts. He stunk there too. So we'll see what happens. But anyway, <laughs> I like Arizona in this game, and I think J.J. Nelson gets a touchdown. They're going to be throwing the ball over the place. Probably a couple other guys catch t- touchdowns too, but we're going to stick with J.J. Nelson. Next game on the schedule is the Rams at Jacksonville. I like the Rams in this game, even though, yeah, they had a great game last week on defense. But uh, they were throwing the ball. I think the Rams are going to run the ball this week. And if you run the ball, you're going to get 146.4 yards. So at least that's what the averages say. So I like the Rams, and I think they're just going to give it to Gurley. They're going to throw it to Gurley and dump offs. They're going to just use him all day. He gets 100 yards, two touchdowns in this game. It wouldn't be the first time this year he's gotten two touchdowns. So I like the Rams on the road in this game. It's not a 1 o'clock game. It's a 4 o'clock game, so it gives them a couple extra hours. So Rams and Gurley with 102 touches. Okay, this is for Bill. Are you listening? The next game we have is Pittsburgh at the Chiefs. I like Pittsburgh. (laughs) I know, I know, I know. What are you talking about? They beat him last year. Roethlisberger's like 5-0 and against them. They never beat him for some reason. They beat him in the playoffs. They beat him in the regular season. They beat him at stickball. They beat him with everything. So, I like Pittsburgh in this game on the road against undefeated Kansas City. And I think Roethlisberger gets 300 yards and a couple touchdowns. Just to show everybody that last week, that was fucking horrible. And he's not going to do it again. So, are you listening? That's the play. Next game on the schedule is a division game. Chargers at the Raiders. I like the Raiders. I like the Raiders in this game. Chargers aren't very good. Their defense, even though they get sacks and Bose is pretty good, and the defense looks, if, if you look at it as a whole, they have players there, but they're just not doing what they're supposed to be doing. They're stopping the pass a little bit, but they're getting run on all day, which is why I like Lynch to get a touchdown in this game. 
I like Oakland to win the game. Lynch, start him. I know he's not doing very well. I think he gets a touchdown this game, and he'll probably get some yards. I'm just not sure how many because they have a little bit of a committee thing going on there. But he does get a touchdown. So, Raiders and Lynch. Ugh, here's a game. Giants at Broncos. I like Denver, and I like Denver's defense. They can't run the ball. Giants can't run the ball. Can't throw the ball. Can't do anything. So this is an easy one, I think. And this could get ugly, but I still, you know, we're going to go with Denver, and we're going to take Denver's defense. If you have them, start them. I mean, that's an easy one. All right, here we go with the Monday night game. we got Indy at Tennessee. I like Indy in this game. This just screams like one of those games that ends up like 48 to 44. Just nobody can stop each other. And they just score all over the place. And they're division games, so they just one after the other after the other. So I think it's going to be a, a goofy game. Very high scoring. Very, very, very over. Very over in this game. So I like Indy, and I think uh, Brissett on the road. I'm starting to like this kid a little bit. But uh, I like him uh, to get a couple touchdowns in this game. Two touchdowns, maybe one rushing. I'm not sure. But I think he comes out. Because I just don't like the other side. Castle, I don't like him at all. So that's the play. Indy and Brissett. And those are the games for the week. Okay, so here's my first team. And as you can see, I already had two guys go on Thursday night. And they did good. Good move on taking Benjamin and putting him in because Diggs is out now. And I, if I wouldn't have put him in, I would have been screwed because I'd have a guy in there with a guy on the bench with 19 points. I'd be like, fuck. So, and McCaffrey's always starting. So, we got Watson in there now. We got Hunt in there. It's all rookies. It's all rookies. And I think Cooks might do something this week. So, he's got Carr. See what happens when he gets with his bad back when he comes back. Ajay, I don't like him. I haven't liked him all year. Go look at the old ones. I said it before. McKinnon, I got Murray, and McKinnon's the guy. I never get that right. I never get that shit right. Uh, Jones, Hilton, Gronkowski. That's that's a big threat. Patriots defense, we'll see. And Will Lutz. I have him as my kicker in the other league. He's good. So it looks like it's going to be tight, but I think I might have an advantage. Fuck those projected totals. They don't mean shit. So that's the first team. Let's take a look at the second. Okay, here's the second team. We're 4-1 and one here. This is a good team. Went out and got Dixon. He didn't do anything. But we also put Watson in here. I hate putting the same guy in both leagues, but they're going against Cleveland, so I think... I don't know. We'll see. And we've got the hook up to Hopkins. If Hopkins has a good game. Watson does too. Yay! I tried at the beginning of the year with, with Newton and uh, Benjamin. That didn't work out. It's starting to come around now. It's fucking week fucking six, so... Anyway, Mike Evans going against Peterson. I hate it. Kareem Hunt, we'll see against Pittsburgh. I hope he can do something. I got a funny feeling Pittsburgh is going to shut him down a little bit. Jordan Howard at Baltimore. I don't like that. I'm thinking about putting in C.J. Anderson. I don't know. But Chris Hogan, like him against the Jets. Lutz and Baltimore. He's got Rodgers, of course. Of course he's got Rodgers. Brandon Cooks, he's playing against me, so he's going to do good. So I hope he does good in my league. Golden Tate. Everybody's on. Everybody's up Golden Tate's ass. I don't know why he's such a... I mean, I guess he gets targets, but I, I never see him with eight for 149 and three touchdowns. I never see that. Anyway, Aaron Jones, I liked him. I wanted to pick him up. Chris Thompson, meh. I think they are going to run on him, though. Travis Kelsey, that's a pain in the ass. Curse. Yeah, he catches touchdowns, and he, he's caught a lot of balls against New England, so. Eh. Suck up and Kansas City. I I mean, I'm 4-1. and one, He's 1-4. One I got to take my side, but I don't like starting out with 7.6. I want 17.6 or 57.6. But we'll take what we can get, see if we can get a win. Comment below whatever you think of either of the teams. We took Cam Newton out this week to put into Sean Watson, see if that works. So those are both teams. Let's get into some gambling. Fucking degenerate you. So the book likes Washington minus 11. That's his best bet. His second best bet is Jets minus nine, home dog. I get it. And his third best bet is going to be Arizona plus one and a half. I don't like that game at all, but that's what he likes. So those are the three plays, one, two, and three. 
So the old man likes his best bet of the week is Denver, minus 11. I can see that. I can see that. That Giants team stinks. His second best bet is Houston, minus 9.5. Okay, Cleveland stinks too, but I think they might get a little backdoor cover there. I don't know about that one. That's a lot of points. And his third best bet is the Bears, plus 6. Somebody always takes the Bears every week because they're always getting points. But those are the old man's picks. He did okay last week. Let's see if he can keep it up. And the talk man pick of the week to get us over 500. Hopefully. It's Pittsburgh plus four. In case you didn't figure that out. I said I like Pittsburgh to, against uh, Kansas City already. They always beat them. I'm going to go with the you know history repeating itself. And they're getting four. So if they lose by a field goal, we're good. So that's talk man's best bet of the week. It's Pittsburgh. So I'm sitting at a bar and I'm just... You know, not paying attention to anybody. There's a couple people sitting next to me. There's a few tables behind me. And this couple comes in, sits down next to me, and they're on a date or whatever. So I'm sitting there, and I hear the guy start talking. He's like, well, uh, I, sent you a, I sent you a text, and I sent you an email. Did, did you get it? I'm like, dude, come on. What are you? What the hell's wrong with you? But, and at, at the time that that thought just ran through my head, she responds, I don't know, what, who knows, maybe, I don't know, I don't know, who cares? Well, I'm like, Jesus Christ, oh my God, could you be any nastier to this poor guy sitting here? I'm like, dude, come on, you can't, oh God. And she did that in front of everybody. I know the people next to me heard that, and so did the people behind me. I'm like, oh, she couldn't give two shits about you, could she? So I'm sitting there, the, 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 the bartender finally comes over, and she's like, oh, well, oh, would you like guys like to get something to eat? And he's like, well, uh. And she's like, no, nope, we're not doing that. We're getting appetizers, that's it, we're getting out of here. And I want my drink. She gets, uh, I want whatever I'm drinking, blah, blah, blah. she got something to drink. I'm like, dude, dude, and you know, you know he's paying for this. He's paying for this humiliation and for this public humiliation. He's paying for this. I'm like, oh, my God, dude. Oh, look what she's doing. In the span of like three minutes, look look at how she she made everyone around us, and we all heard it, how she made everyone around you believe that your dick and balls are smaller than the size of the nucleus of an atom. That's how small she makes you look. Oh, my God, I felt so bad for this guy. And she's looking. She's not even paying attention to him. She's looking around, you know. I'm like, oh, my God, this is horrible. Dude, just, you know, and I'm sitting there thinking to myself, if this is like, you know, you're just starting with this, dude. You're going to get it. You're going to get fucked over and fucked out. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So that's the show. I'll see you guys Wednesday uh, for the wrap up. I'll have some new stuff and we'll go over something else probably. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good night. God bless. Good luck this weekend. And I'll see you Wednesday. Hey, thank you for listening. Don't forget to follow Talkman Radio on Facebook and Twitter. And kill that like button and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, everyone's team sucks but mine. <laughs>